Hey, it's Rob Jackson with Fandroid.com, and I'm here with a very specially wrapped box from our friends at LG. So I'm going to try and unwrap this with one hand. I don't have my tripod here, so I just have to do my best. Um, in this box is actually something very special, not only for Android, but also for mobile phones in general. This is the first um, Tegra 2 dual core processor phone, smartphone, which means that um, it's got two cores each running at one gigahertz. So um, supposedly it's supposed to run very smoothly, very quickly, um, should be great for gaming. And this is not out yet. Um, so we're excited to get a hold of it if we can get a hold of it. And hold on one second. Okay, so just rock the box open. Of course, just a black box. This isn't the regular retail packaging you'll see once it's available in stores. Um, and carriers have not been announced, so we also don't know exactly who will be getting it. But here's the phone itself. Um, let's rip off this protective sheet. So there you go. There's the actual phone, the LG Optimus 2X. Um, let's get to that in a second. Just get the other stuff in the box out of the way. Um, probably just your typical power cords and whatnot. But just to make sure. We've got, looks like, a simple USB to micro USB cord. And we've got a, looks like, a micro USB to HDMI cord. And a power cord. And obviously the USB goes in there to turn it into a wall charger. Um, this is obviously not an American power cord. This is um, overseas version of the LG Optimus 2X and I'm guessing it will be available there first. Uh, however, it will run on T-Mobile um, on T-Mobile SIM card and I'm going to stick that in here and this is what we're going to use for the next few days as we're reviewing the phone. Um, for now, I it, do not have that SIM card with me, so, um, but we'll boot it up without a connection at first and just take a quick look. This isn't going to be too long a video. Uh, I want to save most of my thoughts and impressions for, um, for the full review. And I think I held it down. Yep, there we go. I was wondering if the battery needed to be charged. But just to give you an overview of the actual hardware itself, um, as you can see, it's got the typical Android buttons here at the bottom um, with the menu, home, back, and search key. Um, down, oops. Okay, uh, at the top of the phone here, we've got a front-facing um, 1.3 megapixel camera and up here are like status indicator lights. The screen is, that looks pretty nice, the screen is a four inch screen. Uh, I believe it's 480 by 800 uh, pixel resolution. Uh, on the bottom here we've got the micro USB for charging and connecting to your computer um, and two stereo speakers and apologies for the going in and out of focus here. Um, I'm actually using a DSLR to record this and no buttons on the side at all. Uh, volume rocker up here on the right. Uh, on the top, it, we've got the power button here. And the, it looks like HDMI right there, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Um, on the back, it's kind of interesting. It's got this uh, metal stripe down the middle that says, with Google. It almost looks, if you just look at it straight up, like that's a clip or a stand or kind of reminds me of a pager or a beeper, like you're going to connect it to your belt. But actually, that's just design oriented. Um, you've got the LG logo here at the bottom. And here is an 8 megapixel uh, camera with flash, uh, LED flash. So um, that's 
most of the hardware. Of course, the big story here is the uh, Tegra 2 dual core processor, uh, which is the first for Android and uh, smartphones in general. Um, what else can we tell you about the hardware? It's 1500 milliamp battery, um, and we've got you know the typical stuff like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all that good stuff. Uh, from a software standpoint, it's running Android 2.0. Two, um, we already know that it will be upgradable to Android 2.3 at some point in the near future. How quick that will happen, I'm not exactly sure. This is really LG's first uh, high-end Android smartphone. Um, we know they make decent high-end phones. They've been more popular making um, the more mainstream types of phones, uh, but. They, with their LG Optimus line, with the Optimus 1 and the Optimus S and T and all that good stuff, they really tried to hit the sweet spot of the market, get their foot in the door, show they can make an Android device that pleases the masses, and now they're going for the high end. Um, and the LG Optimus 2X is definitely uh, a high end phone. It feels really good, um, but again, the dual core nature of this phone kind of sets it apart from all the phones out there right now. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing more LG high-end Android phones uh, out there in general. We just heard the LG Optimus 3D announced, and that will be at Mobile World Congress. Um, they've got the LG Optimus Black as well. So LG's really going to be making a push in 2011, and it's all starting out with this phone, the LG Optimus 2X. Um, so right off the bat, you can feel it's really smooth and fluid. Um, switching between screens, and I'm sure that's because it's running um, Android, or it's because it's got a dual-core processor. But Android 2.2 does probably doesn't hurt. And once it starts running Android 2.3, watch out. Um, as you can see up here, there's no network connection, so I'm not going to be able to dive into any of these programs in depth. Um, let's see what's what do we have here. It might be interesting. Document Master, F Secure, FM Radio, Mirror. Let's see what that is. MySpace for LG. That's kind of funny. Um, and there's Tegra Two or Tegra Zone here, which oh, it's going to force close on us. Yeah, I think you might. We might need an internet connection um, to get into that. Let me see what this mirror is. Might be able to see me. Yep, because it's using that front-facing camera. So uh, that's pretty cool. And down here we can see downloads. Looks like there are a few games they've pre-installed. Um, it's got Astro File Manager as well. Shrek, Karting, Spider-Man, Guitar Hero. Uh, but gaming on this device should be great because of the um, because of the processor and everything should be really quick. Rendering 3D graphics and whatnot. Um, with ease so I don't want to go as I said uh, to and dip this phone I want to get a great feel for it and, and come back with some strong impressions and be able to give you um, a knowledgeable and full review rather than kind of rambling on which is what I'm doing now so just wanted to show you guys I have it this is the LG Optimus 2X the first dual core Android smartphone um, not to mention um, LG's first high-end Android phone. We're really, really, really excited about this phone. Also really excited about what LG has planned for Mobile World Congress uh, in Barcelona in a couple weeks from now. But stay tuned to Fandroid.com because we'll be posting videos and a full review of this phone, the LG Optimus 2X, very soon. So thanks, guys. Rob Jackson from Fandroid.com. Talk to you soon.